We speak black magic into the air, a truth this tragic and so unfair, when you realize the root of it all, when the real lies answer those spoken calls. We misuse our power as means of projection, our spells smell sour, they reek of rejection. We speak black magic into our lives, from this black magic that evil arrives. This video is sponsored by The Coldest Water. So I'm currently reading this book called The Four Agreements. Shout out to Ice Cold JT for putting me onto that book. So far, it's been an amazing read. I definitely recommend that everybody watching this go and get that book. But I want to talk about the first agreement in that book, which is being impeccable with your word. Okay, now what does it mean to be impeccable with your word? Basically, it means exactly what it sounds like. Okay, you use your words with intention. All of your words have conscious intention behind them. You don't speak from a place of unconsciousness or lack of awareness. You don't speak from a place of your shadow self. You speak from complete and utter awareness and positivity. Okay, you use your words to build as opposed to destroy things. And I know that this is much easier said than done, no pun intended, but it's possible, okay? And once you allow yourself to become aware of that possibility of utilizing your words as a means of building your dream life and building a better life for everybody who's involved in your life, you will see major, major transformation in your day-to-day -day experience. Now, one of the biggest barriers to using your words impeccably is negative self-talk. Okay, a lot of us, we have negative dialogue going on within and without. Okay, we talk to ourselves within in a negative way. And we even say these things out loud. And you have to really think about it. Okay, a lot of you talk to yourselves in ways that you would never talk to other people. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. You would never, ever tell anyone else something that you would not tell yourself, okay? Deep down, if you're telling somebody else something that is meant to tear them down, that is only a fraction of the things that you are telling yourself deep down inside, subconsciously. Something that the book mentions and something that I preach very frequently on my channel is that misery loves company. And that's why in the poem I say, we speak black magic into the air, a truth this tragic and so unfair, when you realize the root of it all, when the real lies answer those spoken calls. We utilize our words to tear other people down, not as a means to tear them down, but as a means to make ourselves feel less alone in our misery. And the reason why we feel so miserable is because of our negative self-talk. Okay, if all you harbor is negativity within yourself, then that's all you have to share with other people. Okay, the people who spread the most negativity are typically the most miserable, especially on the internet. Okay, when you see somebody who's always hating on somebody else, I promise you that they are hating on themselves much worse than you ever see them hating on anyone else. And they use their words to communicate that hatred, to communicate that negative self-perception. You see, words are a vehicle of expression. And when you learn to utilize your words with intention, you can create the life that you want to live. But it starts with re-establishing and cleansing your self-perception. Okay, you have to build yourself up before you can start building the life that you want to live. And that's something that a lot of people don't really understand. They want to compare themselves to other people and perpetuate that negative self-talk pedestalize other people as a means of putting themselves down in order to reinforce the belief systems that they've accepted as the truth in their lives. One thing that I've learned in this life is that our egos do not like to be wrong. So when your ego buys into a belief system, especially a negative one, it is very, very difficult to turn it around. Okay, especially if you lack consciousness, if you lack awareness, you have to be aware of the things that you're saying. Learn to observe your internal dialogue and learn to observe the way that you talk to and treat other people. Because when you use your words to tear other people down, that is only a reflection of what's going on inside of you. And when you're tearing yourself down, deep down inside, or even expressing that self-hatred, if you're constantly talking down on yourself, okay, we all know somebody that when we compliment them, hey, I like your outfit, they can't accept the compliment because it doesn't align with the agreement 
that they've accepted as their reality. Okay, and like I said, our egos don't like to be wrong, so it's not necessarily their fault, but it is their responsibility. But you also have the power to help them see that. Okay, that's why I'm making this video, is because I wanna help anybody who's caught in their own shadow to see the light. Okay, because shadows cannot exist without light. And your ego, your ego is the barrier between the shadow and the light. So, in other words, if you have this negative self-talk going on, you can just as easily turn that around and make it into positive self-talk. And once you utilize the power of positive self-talk, you can construct the life that you want to live. This is the essence of manifestation. Utilizing positive self-talk to build up a positive self-perception and using that positive self-perception to set your intentions with the universe. And being able to set those intentions from a place of presence because you're not constantly projecting your self-love into the future. You're not constantly thinking about how you're going to love yourself when you accomplish a certain goal, when you achieve a certain outcome or accolade in your life. You love yourself in the present moment and you remind yourself of that constantly in a way that's relevant to you. But like I said, words are the most potent vehicle. Words and thoughts are the most potent vehicles for expressing that self-love or the lack thereof. Okay, and something else that I said in the poem was, we misuse our power as means of projection. Our spells smell sour, they reek of rejection. We speak black magic into our lives from this black magic that evil arrives. Like I said, okay, when we reject ourselves, we have no choice but to reject other people because all we harbor is negativity. For example, if you go to a lemonade stand and you ask for a grape soda, they don't have that for you. Okay, they don't have grape soda to give you because it's a lemonade stand. If you want grape soda, you're gonna have to go to the supermarket or the corner store or somewhere that sells grape soda. But someone who does not have the inventory, the internal inventory to give you that positivity that you're seeking out, they can't give it to you. Okay, they simply don't have it within them at this point in time. But everyone has the potential to acquire that positivity because it costs absolutely nothing. It is free 99 to speak positive about yourself. And when you start to speak positively about yourself in terms of internal and external dialogue, what you'll find is that your outer world will begin to reflect that in the sense that for one, you'll feel more compelled to project your positivity, okay? Because now you have the means to do so. You can pour that positivity into the world because you have something to give. All right, if your cup is empty, you can't afford to pour anything from it because you don't have anything, okay? So once you have positivity in your cup, when you have that sense of optimism about yourself first, that will reflect itself in the way that you perceive the world. And when you perceive the world in a positive light, that is where your dream life starts to unfold in the most spontaneous magnificent and profound ways because you're now open and aware to all opportunities that are available to you and you understand that you're capable and you're worthy of any and all things that you set the intention to experience. <laughs>